What are you checking now? Checking his veins. Okay. That is a very good one. <laughs> oh yeah, I found one. <laughs> and I'm just going to clean it. Alcohol it swab and you, you don't need to touch it. You just Not often. Yeah. Ah. There we go. Clean four times and I'm waiting for it to like dry up a bit. And please make it tight first for me. Does it hurt? No. This is the pouch where I'll collect the small samples from him. And then you loosen the tourniquet if you find like a good flow. Tighten it again so that it goes faster. Okay. And then you must just make a few good squeezes. And if if this is enough, I just close here, then open this big one. And that one is This is where the blood goes, ne? it's 500 mils. And then the reason why there's three bags is because we separate the, the, the components. Ne? After Taken the blood, it goes to the lab, and then that's where they separate them. That's why we say you say we have three lives at once. With one blood. Why do you need to separate the blood? Because we give it to three different patients with different um, conditions. That's why most of the time they say you save three lives with one unit of blood. You separate, separate the placenta from it, the plasma? Yeah, we, yeah. 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 separate it, and when we separate it, we get uh, plasma, red cells, and platelets. Yeah. And that's the three bags that collect platelets, red blood cells, and plasma. The white blood cells we don't use. They die. Yep. <laughs> These are my three samples. Just labeling them first. Which one's which? And then, this one is called the virology, the net, and this one is for the blood component. There are different tests that are done with them. We do, we always check your blood group name every time. Yeah, we check for um, HIV and some STIs that is uh, severe and hepatitis to see the blood. It's actually 100% safe. It must be safe for us to, to give it to the patient. Mm -hmm. You still alright?